Hey guys, so since we now have the well modifier on Blender 2.82, we'll be able to make uh, everything we want, in fact, and uh, such assets. And previously, it wasn't possible because we needed the merge modifier, but now this is available and we can do it. This is pretty simple, but it's interesting to show how to make this and how to make this one fully editable. That means this one is just that. So let's press D on the mode visibility to show the modifiers like that like that and that's it and this object like i said is fully editable you can also make uh, this or make this same fully table no one goes uh, you can add subdivision surface everything will work so let's see how to make it so let's make the base but before i will show you something interesting uh, activate the face orientation like that Go in the uh, add-on preferences, from Blender preferences, in the theme, in the 3D view. And here, on the face orientation, you can enter the value to 0 on the alpha, like that. You will see directly what I want to show you. So, let's call the cutter. I will press uh, 5 and Alt and click. That will this give me this kind of result. Press E to extrude. As you can see, uh, this is red. I will press E to extrude. I will press E to extrude like that. So this is nice because you can see if your object is reverted. I will move it vertically and as you can see, the uh, screw reverted it. So what I can do is come back on the screw, press R, and that's it. So select this one, Alt D, move it like that. Maybe select both in fact. Just move it a little here. This one too, space, bevel, should be correct with this. What I will do now is to make an union. I will call the cutter, shift. I will go in front view, up, press B to move it like that, and Alt and Shift will give me this kind of result. Okay? So the goal was to create it on the cursor, and I want uh, a screw with six, and I want to move this one, let's see, like that. Okay? So I need to change the number of segments of this one. I want three here so i will go in the screw i will decrease and up up it should be correct with this as you can see this is nice on this one you can play with this solidify like that let's make it like that it's okay i want to add some lines here so i will add a subdivision surface i will press f to go in simple mode and g to see the wireframe like that. And as you can see, I will have this kind of result. And this is nice. So, now what I want is to cut this part here. Let's go in front view. I will select this one. I will call the cutter. I will move the cursor, let's see here. And since I move the, the cursor with B, uh, the creation and cursor is activated. So let's click on 5 to select the simple screw vertice and click. After since you are in edit mode, just press uh, E to extrude, like that, E to extrude, like that, E to extrude, like that, and E to extrude, like that. Okay, so if I select everything, I created this. I can take this one, move it a little like that, and it should be correct. Okay, what I can do now is uh, to, uh, let's see, uh, move this one vertically, no, not this one, but this one vertically to have uh, something like that. I want to merge those points, those points, those points, those points. So let's select this one, call the well modifier, and just with S change the value, and that will merge the point, like that. And this is what you want. So right now we made this, okay? So we have two choices. One, we can make something round like that, or we can make a hole, so we can try to do both, just to show you. I will go in front view, I will call the cutter again, I will press B and middle mouse to move this at the center of this object, for example, and I will press 5 again, and I will just click, like that. If we check, we have this, we are in edit mode, just move it here, I will go here just to show you this point, and go in front view, press E to extrude, E to extrude, like that, E to extrude and snap here. And on this one, I can make a mirror. I will remove the X axis and I will press Z. And if I press 3, I will have this. So on this screw, I will be sure 
uh, to make the uh, the normal on the correct side. And as you can see right now, this is correct. Okay. So just with this, we made we made this. So I can after uh, let's see move it like that to have something I want. I can of course edit uh, this and this if I want to make this. I can also make something like that. The bottom will have the same result, etc., etc. So it's up to you to do whatever you want. On this one, what I can do now is to add a bevel. So I will press Shift Space since I already have a bevel. I will create a new bevel. I can uh, keep this like that or enter just two on segments. Let's see, two will give me this. And after I need to uh, remove those end guns. So let's add the triangulate like that. The only thing sad on the triangulate is that that will triangulate even uh, the uh, quad hair and could be nice to not have this. Could be better, but it's not really possible. But right now we have this. I should not have any end gun here. And uh, I can add a subdivision surface like that. If I press six, I will have this and that's it. I created this object and it was pretty simple. So let's press six. I can edit. I can remove the subdivision surface. We will make uh, this part here. You can, if you want, let's see, remove this one. X to delete that will give you this. And now we will make this part here. So you have two possibilities. You can make it by hand or you can directly call the editable primitive hair from uh, Speedflow Companion. So I can uh, use the boolean and let's see ununion and I will just uh, click that will give me this result. I will move it vertically. Let's see uh, like that. I can play with the displace that will give me this result like that. And I need to cut it to not have this part here. So let's go in front view. Let's call the cutter. Let's make this here and do this. Bam. I cut it and it's okay right now. So just like that, we made this. Uh, since the boolean is well placed, we automatically have the good result. And if I add a subdivision surface, bam, I will just hide this and that's it. We made our second object. This is as simple as that. So let's see another uh, thing. I will duplicate two objects. I will duplicate this one and I will duplicate this one. I will press Shift to D. Come here. Select this one and make it visible by pressing Shift on the display mode button. Call this solidify and press D0 to be sure to have this object at the center here. I will move this one a little here. Select this, this, and uh, call the boolean. And if I move this, I should have this result. So let's move it like that. Okay. So select this one, this one, and press Control Shift on the mirror. I will remove the X axis. I will choose the Z axis like that. By pressing Ctrl Shift, that will say this one will be the object request for this one. So like that, we have something perfect. If I move this one, that will follow correctly. Like that. Okay. On this object, uh, let's first try to move it a little. Let's see like that. On this object, add a weld modifier. Play with the value to merge the point. On this object, what I will do is press Shift S cursor to select it to place the cursor and I will create the entire uh, cut. I will do like previously, I will cut the cutter, I will press V and 5 and click like that. If I come here, as you can see, I created this. So let's move it. Let's press E to extrude. Yep. Press E to extrude vertically and just move it a little like that. So as you can see, we have this because this one was selected and this one on the screw only have six segments. So uh, this one has six segments. So let's press S24 and I should have something correct. I can press E to activate this smooth shading too. And uh, I can add a mirror, not in X but in Z to have this result. So if I check, hopla, my bad, I have this. So it seems I need to revert with air the uh, normals. And that's it. You can, if you want, select this, this, and this, and add a displace. 
I will just move it before the uh, other part. So like that, I will be able to create this. And if you want to, you can press tab, select this one, space and this place. Let's move it before the other part of this screw to create this. So that means if I go here, I can play with uh, this, I can play with this, like that. You can, if you want, uh, hide the facilitation. So now, on this one, I just have to add a bevel, like that, and to add a subdivision surface. Uh, I already have one, so shift and space to add a new one. And that's it. I can press uh, level 2, up, like that. And if I press 6, this is my result. 6. You can increase uh, the bevel or decrease the number of segments to have uh, different results. Up, it's really up to you. Two to hide everything. So you can see the results you will have. I like four. Let's decrease like that. And that's it. So like I said, if I hide this one, you can call this place, edit this one, edit this one. I could even uh, make uh, the uh, the size change, etc, etc. So there is a lot of possibilities and just like that we made this.